Welcome guys, so in this video we are going to customize our GNOME or GNOME, whatever we call it, using the Catpakin palette. Okay, so I just installed Arch Linux, you can choose anything you want, like any editor you want, like Ubuntu, uh, Linux Mint, Gentoo, Fedora, anything you want, but here as you can see, just a second, I'm using Arch Linux. This is a fresh installation on the virtual machine. Anyways. Uh, so I'm going to, to enter console, update my package manager pacman and then install gnome twix, gnome terminal and zsh, zsh is optional, terminal, gnome terminal is kinda, but uh, the tweaks are, are required, so yeah, close it, open in my new terminal, as you can see, I'm going to customize it later using the catpakin palette, anyways, Okay, access now to on my ZSH uh, website. I'm going to install it on my Linux distro. Okay, um, okay, I need to install it. Quick, installing it, installing on my ZSH, and why? Type in the password and done. Okay, I'm going to now to choose the dark mode because I like it. Okay, now I'm going to edit my ZSH, my ZSH dem. I'm going to install it to choose the Ignoster. I'm going to give the link of the teams in the description. I just like the Ignoster so you can choose any team you want. I'm going to give the link in the description. Now opening the extensions and I'm going to activate a plugin or an extension called user Dems or teams. Here is it, activating it, activating it. Now I'm going to access this, the website Ignom Shell Extensions and, and I'm going to install the plugin on my browser. Okay, refreshing the page. Okay, if you have this problem, just switch to Google, Google Chrome. I'm going here to install the or helper or yay because you can you can just like compile Google Chrome from your source but you don't need to. Anyways, okay, I need to access yay get and then make package myself. Okay, I need to yeah, I need to make the package myself. Now updating the yay and then installing Google Chrome. Done. Entering the Google Chrome. Okay, here it is. Now accessing this with the website again, the GNOME Shell extensions, installing the plugin, add extensions. And then, okay, accessing now the link. We need to fix, we need to install, yeah, we need to install the GNOME browser connector. Uh, there is two ways. The first way is at using the EA or helper or compiling it yourself. But since I have EA, then I can just install it directly. Done. Now refreshing the page again. Uh, uh, I need to go back and refresh in. Okay, now it's fixed. Now uh, we need to install three plugins. The first one is Blur My Shell. Install. The second one is Dash to Dock. And the third one is Desktop Icons. Now we need to install the font. I'm going with this one. You can choose anything you want. I'm going to give the link in the description. And now I have to I have to access the user share fonts directory and then unzip the thing I download in this folder making the password okay done uh, okay and we need to check interface and then searching for the font cask idea cov nerd font okay here is it I just need to choose it select and then yeah done okay now I'm going to install the team the cat team I'm going for Musha, Catpakin Musha Borderless Team. Okay, I just need to download it. Go to the user share teams directory and then unzip the. Uh, yeah, I need the sudo. Unzip 
the, the zip file I installed earlier go to appearance and then shell cat pekin musha borderless and then cat pekin musha for shell and legacy application both I know I have to install the, the icon pack and then cursor pack and icon pack sorry I'm choosing this one but as I said you can choose anything you want now I have to just go for CD, go for icons and then unzip in the file yeah here you need to to, to use the tar command not unzip because you have you have a tar command you have a tar file so both for the reversal and the the other pack cursor as you can see changed and for reversal both all the icons and then going for files uh, files files not not firefox files as you can see here they're applied so now we need to customize our terminal with the catpakin palette uh, here is the link for the palette I'm going to give it in the description okay and just uh, deactivate this one here is how it should look after customizing now go for the text, custom fonts, and then choosing the font that I want, the same font, select, and yeah, done. Now I'm just going to install NeoFetch. Type in the password again, Y, NeoFetch, and yeah, done. Now the last thing here is I have to, to apply a wallpaper. I'm going for 8k I'm going to give it in the description I'm choosing one dark and yeah I have n I had some problems with the get so I have to download it manually and then add picture go for downloads choose the picture and apply it done so yeah I'm done now thanks guys for watching and I hope you like the video thanks